Hi folks, today we're gonna create this custom constraint for Houdini 19.5 using crowds and man, I must admit, I found the simplest way to do this. Let's do it. Okay, hi again, this is Dyson, happy to be here. Let's see my inspiration. Man, I saw this clip here. Wow, that's fabulous. And as you can see, this crowd is sticking on this dragon. And this video is uh, beginning for achieving this kind of effect. Okay. And in this video, I just translate this tutorial here. This done by Peterson. It's genius and smart guy. He did that with VEX code. And I simplify that as usual. Okay, let's begin. Let's use this mocap geometry or uh, character here. It's native uh, by Houdini. And as you can see, we have uh, these poses here and this animation. It's built in within in Houdini. So you can use that. And now, for instance, you have uh, this zombie. Uh, <laughs> it's interesting, but not perfect in my opinion. Okay, let's use this T pose. Okay. Now let's create agent and let's select this character reg and let's name that for instance DZN. Okay. Let's hit enter and we have this setup. Now let's create agent collision layer. We need that for the colliders. Let's click here, manipulate tools and let's have uh, quickly this collider okay and that's good for now let's proceed okay now let's create crowd source for spawning this agent let's create crowd source node here and in the second node we're gonna create this line we need a uh, agent in the line uh, format okay let me connect that here and change the direction of the line okay that's cool let me change that and yep we need a create uh, delete uh, polygons by add and delete and keep the point now we can control the agent amount with this one and that's cool Okay, now we are ready to create uh, our DAB network. Let's select simulate and choose this crowds and ragdoll and DZN. That's basically the T-pose. And that's for now. Now let's have initiate state. Okay, as you can see, we don't have anything. Let's go here and type ragdoll and let's play as you can see we are immediately going to ragdoll phase or state let's create ground here and let me bring that down and let's play okay uh, ignore this <laughs> collision we don't uh, need that and we're gonna fix that later on okay as you can see we have this constraint network agent constraint network that's so important we need to work with that so as you can see here we are importing this uh, pin and this con twist here by this uh, network constraint and as you can see it's pointing to this one okay let's talk about this bullet constraint let me demonstrate that with this cube here let's create cube and let's create a material fracture rbd material fracture okay let's turn that to pieces let me bring that down uh, for the sake of the, this demonstration okay we have the pieces now let's uh, create explode view to show you something here as you can see we have these pieces and let's create a null to show you the constraint here Okay, constraint basically is the geometry. As you can see, we have this one and geometry have a point with name attribute which 
pieces I hold, for instance, pieces one in here. And this line, it's polygon. It's contain constraint name and constraint type attribute, etc. Okay, that's uh, constraint uh, attributes which needed. Okay, as you can see, we have the name of the point uh, holding the uh, pieces here and this primitive or polygon have a constraint type and constraint name glue pin for hard constraint and glue for glue constraint and that's the basic of a bullet uh, constraint uh, in houdini let me change that to pin for instance and let me show you here we change that to pin as you can see so for in order to uh, import this one uh, this constraint we need a network constraint okay that's the basics okay before we move on if you enjoyed this video please hit the like button and subscribe for more content and help us to grow and big shout out for my patreon supporter i love you guys and we have awesome stuff there and if you uh, enjoying the cryptocurrency and nft space i am in love with that and check this nft page here Okay, we covered the basic of the constraint uh, bullet. As you can see, we have this constraint and that's the pieces. Basically, it's the joint of the character and we have this constraint name, the pin. Okay, the pin, it represent the hard constraint. And as I showed you before, we are importing this constraint by the network constraint. Okay, let me fix that before we move on okay that's cool now we're gonna create a polygon or a primitive to connect these agents let's go here and let me select this uh, point here okay as you can see we have this line it's basically is primitive okay now uh, let me show you something here let's create uh, uh, attribute attribute create as you can see we need a constraint name for this uh, let me show you here uh, as you can see we have this one and when we are connect that we have this new primitive okay let me copy that name it's so sensitive okay let me delete that and let's uh select a uh, primitive here and let's select our edge uh, sorry our primitive and change that to string and let's type fg for instance and let's type pin here as you can see we are changing this attribute just for the this primitive okay now uh, let's as you can see it's not going to work here uh, we need to tweak something let me show you and uh, let's go back and let me first uh, uh, change the state of this agent to uh, t-pose as you can see we have rag uh, ragdoll for all the agent now let's for instance uh, create uh, attribute create here and change that to state let's change the type to string because it's name and let's have a state name let me show you the state here we have dzn and uh, ragdoll let's copy that and paste it here okay as you can see all the state it's sorry let's paste it all the state is changing but i need to adjust the first agent to be in the uh, this state the t pose and let me choose that i guess it's uh, agent number zero because uh, this agent are packed as you can see so let me show you as you can see we can uh, select that let's i don't know why it's not selecting so let's type that okay let me type that okay as you can see we are changing this uh, agent and let's play and see what we have okay as you can see all the agent in the ragdoll state except this one 
now let's play and see what we have as you can see we have this weird effect let's pin the root collision shape and voila that's nicer okay now let's create our line here as you can see the point order is uh, uh, changing so we have this one let's select these points again okay let's hit enter and we have this line let's play and see what we have of course it's not working we need to tweak something here so let's go to dop network and in the dzn state that's the t pose basically let's change that to animated stick okay as you can see it's snapping and that's already working and let's see okay let's create this one again and voila this agent is attaching to this a first agent now let's uh, create a line for the uh, rest of the agent okay and for instance this one and let's have another add node here okay that's cool and now let's play and <laughs> that's so awesome okay basically the peterson did that with uh, vex code and programming and i translate that into this note here so let's proceed okay what i did is uh, download this uh, a character from miximo and i have this pulling animation or clip here i turn that to a uh, locomotion and we have this prop or prep here for uh, foot locking on the terrain i will show you that later and we have this mannequin and we have this crowd source as you can see and now in this line i create this uh, a name uh, attribute for the point and i choosing uh, the order here and I add this pulling clip and I create these lines for connecting uh, this agent and let's play and see what we have. Okay, let me import this clip here and that's basically the whole setup. This scene it will available on my Patreon and as you can see this agent is foot locking uh, with terrain and i did that with this uh, option here trend projection and that's so awesome in houdini and as you can see it's adjusting the foot based on the terrain as i said before this whole scene it's available on my patreon and that's the result and as you can see <laughs> that's fabulous so uh, that's the beginning for uh, achieving the dragon and uh, this stick crowd here i will ask the geniuses because i'm not uh, a technical artist so cross finger i don't know i will succeed or not so wish me a luck have a good day goodbye